Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm gonna have to return to you for this last video for right now because I'm gonna have to go do some chores for a bit until my gaming stream tonight and it's gonna actually be the last gaming stream I do until June 6th uh, for my Twitch gaming stream on Twitch or whatever under the Gaming Nerd 2516 which it is going live tonight. That's for sure, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So definitely tune into that on the Gaming Nerd 2516 channel on Twitch. But yeah, this is for uh, a track review for Thornhill's new song, Raw, that I just got done listening to just a moment ago, or at least once or twice, I think. Uh, but I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this Thornhill song Raw and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this track review. Um, now, I did recently do a special video on the band Thornhill and Silverstein. Definitely go check out that video. I think it came out like a month ago or almost a month ago. A few weeks ago, I think. Uh, I can't remember when. I think it was like two, three weeks ago. Uh, yeah, somewhere around there. And. Yeah, uh, I wasn't a huge fan of Casanova. I thought Hollywood was average, and Archangel was the weakest. This one is average, in my opinion. Um, the reason why it's average is because the lead singer, Jacob, his vocals are not sounding right with uh, the song itself. It's just... I don't hate it, I just don't know if this is the band for me. Um, cause when I listened to their three singles, I thought Archangel was okay, but could have used a lot more work with this overall sound of Jacob's voice. And it just sounds echoed out through most of the track. Like, he's sounding alright, but it's sort of echoed out through most of the track, and some of the singles, I should say. Hollywood, he definitely had that uh, voice. Sorry, there's something in my mouth. I was picking at it. I got it now. <laughs> but yeah, um, Hollywood, he definitely had that voice where it carried out the whole song. He did a scream part in the song, which I'll commend him for that. But it was just, this song was pretty heavy, I'll give it that. And, yeah, Jacob's voice is the only downside to this song. Because it sounds too echoed out for me to understand the lyrics. I can hear some of bits and pieces, but I don't fully grasp my liking to this song. Um... I think it's average, in my opinion, but it could have used a lot more work with his vocal potential, because his vocals sound too echoed out for me to hear what he's singing some of the time. I don't hate it, I just don't know what he's singing some of the time. Uh, but there's some bits and, bits and pieces where I hear some of his vocals throughout some of the track. Uh, but other than that, Overall, I think uh, Raw by Thornhill, I like the instrumentals, and some of the production could have used a little more work with how Jacob's vocals are sounding. Uh, in my opinion, I just don't think this is the band for me. They have this emo kind of metalcore phase. I wouldn't say phase, think it's like an emo melodic metalcore or whatever they're going for emo metalcore emo hard rock or whatever they're going for and I don't know if this is the band for me to be honest so first score for me I'll give Thornhill's raw a 3.5 out of 5 I think it's average it could use a lot more work in my opinion but that's just me at least so comment below let me know what you guys thought of the new thornhill track raw if you've heard it 
And I know Heroin is coming out June 3rd, so I'm going to be reviewing it around that time. So that'll be the same week I get back, or earlier in the week I get back from doing, from my vacation or whatever. Uh, probably May 30th is when I'll be back home or whatever to do more videos. But... Yeah, if you did enjoy this track review I did for Thornhill Raw, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Like I said, I tried, I gave it a chance. I've been giving these four singles a chance, and they're not clicking with me, honestly. They're just, I don't know what it is, it's just, I'll review the album, but... I don't think you're going to expect a good review um, come album release date. Just saying. I'm um, giving my honest opinion, so I don't want to upset some Thornhill fans. But, yeah, they're not for me, honestly. They go with this weird emo thing or whatever with their metalcore sound and hard rock sound or whatever they're going for. And I don't know if it's that kind of style for me, because it's kind of weird what they're singing about some of the time. I don't hate the titles of the songs, but I just I just can't feel for these songs anyway. Because of the vocalists. Because that's the main thing you gotta have, a good vocalist. And you gotta understand what he's singing. Some of the time he's not singing what you can understand, or whatever. Like, it's hard to understand what he's singing some of the time. And then there's some lyrics you can understand and be like, okay, that's okay, I guess. But that's just my opinion and my take on it, so if you don't agree with this review, feel free to dislike. Uh, but anyways, stay safe, take care. I hope you enjoyed this track review for Thornhill Raw. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Um, I'm going to have another video. Well, I was going to do a live stream, but it's probably not going to happen today. Or at least this week. Because I got some chores and cleaning to do, so I'm going to be a little busy. But I'll definitely see you in my next review.